Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jimmy Macklem. It's time for episode 17 of season 3 of Fringe. Last we saw the soul magnets have activated in Olivia, apparently. Olivia is William Bell. Alright, let's get to it. Hey, look at this. Two distinct patterns of electrical activity. This one, active, to you, Belly. <laughs> the other one, inert. <laughs> Like did the brainwaves of a I realized that a bra was so binding. <laughs> Astrid, you can start taking the electrodes off her. Him. You have my word, young man. Now, I need to retrieve my files from Massive Dynamic. There's a box labeled re-entry. I'll get it myself. As fast as possible. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> This is so ridiculous, but that was a piece of shit. I'm sure it's all was very good, but set this up months ago? Ugh. Do you believe what you're saying? About purpose? I would not trust that jump. Not look high enough. You said you know how I feel. For a definitive answer. You said... Send something over that you need to see. It is a big improvement, her voice from the last episode. I bet she got used to it. Fantastic. <laughs> I just like seeing this actress do things. I like there is live. I like there is full live. Like you're fucking William Bell. Know more about it. DNA. Excellent. <laughs> I'll take the samples from the passenger side. <laughs> Look at this. Me and Billy collecting human tissue and fluid specimens. Just like when we were kids. <laughs> Glad you guys are enjoying yourself. This is Peter and Dr. Oh, Walter shit. Bishop, the civilian. She was killed with her husband and her children in a home invasion robbery. Oof. It's grizzly. I can't argue. This was a tough one. <laughs> they were fine who did it? Yeah, it's a miracle she left any blood behind at all. I think it suits you, dear. <laughs> um, but but how? I think Bell's had a crush. I mean, why did she get magnetically the fuck? Do you think the raindrops will help those people on the tree? What people? I don't want to hurt them. Oh my god, get to it. And that's why you're here. You have to save them. There's a duffel bag with my bomb. And that's why you're here. Yeah. East Bay, railway train 67, car 2. This just took a fucking twist. It may work, but still, I'd have to milk you. Well, we could assign Astrid. <laughs> Walter? What up, Dad? Said we were to something. You creepy old man. Oh, shit. 
Yeah, she's gonna try to let this thing blow up. She didn't take it. I think I know what's going on here. Oh, it sounds okay. insane, but here's my theory. She can't die, but she wants to. And she's been trying anything and everything she can to move on, right? She's been trying to stow away on the souls of the recently dead, which is why she's been using suicide victims. And how is that related to the plastic explosives about to be detonated somewhere in the city? Because <laughs> their plan is they're scientists. They are the best at what they do. And if you come in, I promise you, they can help you. Can you promise me you'll reunite me with my family? Can you promise me that killing a bunch of people will? She's on the 625. This is the suspect. There are over 300 people on this train. That, that girl's in the next car. Love that. <laughs> that was easy. Go on. Returns from the grave. As a scientist, I like to believe that nothing <laughs> just happens. So annoyed. That Church bell. So tell me, what's the meaning? <laughs> you okay, Bill? Peter. <laughs> Olivia, is that you? What the hell just happened right there? I think that I may have been wrong. This may be a little more complicated than I first thought. <laughs> All right, that was episode 17 of Fringe, Where to Begin. Um, let's start with William Bell, a.k.a. New Olivia. I'm not entirely sure what she was called at the time, but... I don't hate it. <laughs> it may be awful. I'm very much open to that possibility, but I don't hate it. Mainly because it makes me happy on several levels. First of all, Walter and William Bell gig working together, number one, giggling like school children, frequently smoking pot, making jokes, uh, just laughing is hilarious to me. It just is. Though on top of that, that William Bell is now Olivia's body. So literally like Olivia, who's always super serious, and Walter doing these things makes it doubly hilarious. So that was very enjoyable to me <laughs> as uh, Astrid, Broyles, and Peter are all kind of freak out on their own level. <laughs> um, Lincoln making his appearance and then this world, it was fine for what it was. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't super, I don't dislike him, actually. Uh, I think I did early on, but I don't now. I didn't dislike him here. I don't dislike him there. But he could stay or leave. Man. That'd be fine. As for the villain of the week, which doesn't, listen, I, she doesn't have horrible motives. But she's about she was about to commit horrible a horrible atrocity, which is blow up a train full of people. Or at least a train car full of people. In order to be with her family. 
I feel for her, but I'm glad she's dead. My idea was to use her body, but I guess that wouldn't work now that she's dead, dead. I was actually hoping that this would be a one-off type of episode once the episode started. That fucking Liv would be back at the end. But once we reach the end, I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay with, well, with William Bell Olivia hanging out for a bit. It's hilarious to me. I just want all the episodes to feature him slash her and Walter. Anyway, uh, post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe.